Welcome back to Grizz Vision, everybody here in Indianapolis, the Barbasol Horizon League Basketball Championships. He's a coach, Greg Campy. My name is Neil Rule and Camp. Uh, Indianapolis, semifinals, tomorrow, done with practice. Everybody seemed to have a bounce in their step today. Yeah, this must be big time. You get on camera now. It's not you behind the, behind the <laughs> camera talking to me. Does he look smart with his glasses? Uh -huh. They're not, yeah, they're not even prescription or anything, Camp. I just wear them to look distinguished. So they're fake? No, they're real. Oh, okay. I'm getting old, Camp. Well, I hope our team's not fake. I hope <laughs> our team's for real. We're going to find out tomorrow night, so. Uh, Camp, you look at this, too, already two matchups in the books with Cleveland State. Uh, the first half of the first game in Cleveland State, uh, not your best performance this year. Uh, you guys are able to cut that 22-point lead down to a three-point lead. You got the win in Rochester. Um, there's no secret, so, at this point, is there? No, I mean... You know, their coach has been in the league a couple of years now. Uh, they know what we do. We know what they do. It's going to just come down to who's the most physical team. They out-physicaled us at Cleveland. I think we might have at our place. You'd like to believe that. Who knows? But I do think it's going to be, can we handle the bully ball? You know, when they come after us and, you know, they get physical on the perimeter, can we handle that? Can we get by them? Can we get to the rim? Can we step up and make shots? And can we rebound? You know, they're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country, and this is gonna, that's going to really be a, a tough thing for us. And we've got to rebound. If we do, we'll have a chance to win. Neutral floor games, Camp, how are they different? How, how do they tend to go? Well, I, I don't think, you know, there's a lot made of that, but there's not going to be a lot of people there. And it's just going to come down to, you know, out in your backyard playing basketball. All the pressure in the world on both teams. You know, the, the team that loses goes home and won't play again. And the team that wins gets to keep playing and, and uh, gets one step closer to the ultimate prize, right? So I, I don't think, you know, who's here or, you know, is going to make a big difference, you know, because I just don't think there's going to be enough people in the stands. And it just comes down to you're out in your backyard, the dream is on the line, and can I compete? How do you handle that moment as a coaching staff? Because energy is so amped up because there is so much on the line you're playing for your life yeah and both teams will have that same amount of energy you know who's going to get to 50 50 balls who's going to be willing to sacrifice their body who's going to make the play and more importantly when something goes wrong does it snowball and if it does you're going to probably lose and if it doesn't you're probably going to win so they've got to have that mentality that when something goes wrong next play how fun is this camp this is college basketball right yeah it's it's crazy because we got together the last week of June, and the whole focus has been on the next two nights. And we got here. We got here as the number one seed. We've done everything we want to do, but we also realize it's not done. And if we don't finish it, you know, then it's probably not a success. So uh, a lot of pressure on you and a lot of pressure on them. Let's make a diamonds out of it. <laughs> All right. ESPNU tomorrow, correct? Mm -hmm. On television, radio side, 1270 AM, the bet, 97.1 HD3 as well. With Thanks. Neil Rule and Tony Paul. Tony Paul, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for the time, Cam. All right.